<laughs> am I coming in clear? Ma, I asked, am I coming in clear? Mike TV was the worst on that show. Oh, God, they were all terrible. I know they were all terrible, but I thought he was the most annoying. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Maybe because his, although his, the mom character was funny. Mike! <laughs> I can do that good. <laughs> yeah, when she did... um. Rachmaninoff. <laughs> yes. She went, I went to Brown. <laughs> I'm a biatch. <laughs> no, she was just, you know, she thought she knew. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready? Rachmaninoff. Yeah. <laughs> nice fade job. <sighs> You so know what? good. Here's the thing. I do. Why it, did you turn it off? I'm resent. I resent you. And you resent I, me. Yeah, I resent that you rag on me about the way I fade out stuff. Because you don't. I know. You just turn it off. And I don't want to do it. <laughs> I just don't want to do it. whatever you say. I want to do the opposite. Of course. I, I actually think that I have a solution for all of it. Loud. Yeah. Yeah. Just record it. Yeah. Already pre-faded. So you just have to push the button, <laughs> and it does nothing. You, you know just, what? No, because then you it. win, and I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not giving it to you. Fine. Anyway, welcome to the Ugly Truth. This is episode 592. Woo. Ugh. Ugh. Twas the night before All Hallows Eve. Mhm. Uh it's been a nightmare of a football day for us. You. I you know <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> no, we're not going to talk about it a lot. We don't have a whole lot of I don't think we have a whole lot of listeners who follow the Raiders. <laughs> so I, I'm sure. I don't know. You know what? This is what it is. They see it and they go, I'm just so glad it's not us. I know. Jesus, I'm so glad yeah. that's not us. We that's absolutely shit the bet today. I'm, I mean, not that they I expected a ton, but that was terrible. There's a, always there's always forces larger than us that want the Raiders to consistently be terrible. Yeah. It has nothing to do I mean, we have a really there's a lot of bad yeah. right now, but in general, the NFL would rather that the Raiders never well, see another Super Bowl championship in their lives. Sure. Roger Goodell would have to fucking die yeah. first. Yeah. It's as bad as people saying Mark Davis needs to sell the team. I, shut up. It's never going to happen. No, it's a family business. It's never it's going to happen. happen. Does he have children? Uh, yeah. I think he's got they, two. Are they as gross as he is or uh, are they normal? I don't know. I just I just know he has. I'm pretty sure he has children. <laughs> Just God, the haircut. I just can't. Yeah. I just can't. I saw a picture of him sitting in Vegas eating by himself at like a Habit or a Five Guys. Yeah. All by himself. You know what? It's funny to me what with him, hell? with him in particular. I'm like, God, thank God you're rich. Jesus Christ. Uh, he would be shining cars. Oh my God. He would be literally, you know, yeah. God only knows. He'd own a pawn shop or something. Right, right. No offense to the pawn shop owners in the world <laughs> or the car detailers in the world. You're important. I'm just saying. I don't think he would be sitting in a white track suit with that Dorothy Hamill haircut yeah. with five tendrils of hair. Yeah, it's funny. Pale as the ghost of if winter you didn't, past. If you didn't already know, Mark Davis is the owner we know of every, the Raiders. Nobody, not everybody knows that. Not everybody cares. Well, then why are we talking about it? Because I'm angry. Okay. <laughs> Fair. You know what else made me angry? I can only imagine. We were watching Joe Coy's ah. la latest episode or latest uh, stand-up show oh, God. on Netflix. Yeah. And he said Bukaki. <sighs> yeah. And I go, what's Bukaki? Because I legit don't know. Yeah. And I'm like, what's Bukaki? And without even a blink of in your eye, you're all facials, porn. Yeah. And then Joe Coy goes... Now your girlfriend's going to turn to you and ask you, what's Bukaki? <laughs> it's almost like he was, was watching us. really funny. <laughs> and he said, do not answer. Or if you answer, If I had waited just vague. us 10 seconds longer oh, to please. answer, it would have been fine. And it would have been really funny. But I thought every, and I thought you, everybody knew. I yes. When you answered so, well, I didn't know. Yeah. I learned something new today. It, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it's, what Bukaki. I'd heard of Bukaki, but I didn't know what it was. Oh, yeah. Honestly, there's this weird trend on TikTok where really pretty Asian girls eat like 40 pounds of food. And I thought that was Bukkake. <laughs> <laughs> I did. It, I, I really did. I, oh, yeah. I, uh, it's 
it's disturbing in yeah. a way. Yeah. Because it's these, and they're really tiny, and they just fill their mouths with food. Gross. And they make weird sounds. Although, when they do although it. Bukaki's grosser, so. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know, and I'm not gonna. Oh, speaking of porn, you know what I did the other day? There was this tweet, and it said, you know, tweet me your your angriest song that you know. And I'm like, oh, well, Pussy Riot, which is a Russian yeah. anarchy yeah. group of band of women been around for a long time and they have some amazing titles and I couldn't remember any of them. Wow. And I'm like, I literally have them on a playlist called pissed off. And I was like, what is the name of it? So when do you me, play that particular playlist in the shower? Okay. <laughs> so me, I Google, uh-uh. I Google pissed off pussy. Oh, in the, in Google, in the Google, what in, the fuck? In, in the Google? In the Google. <laughs> yes, just... I'll, I'll listen it. I'll listen to it on the iTunes. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> yes. So I went to the Google and I <laughs> pecked with two fingers. No, I went to Google and I, because my brain was not thinking and I type faster than I think yeah, sometimes. Yeah. And I typed in pissed off pussy riot or something like okay. that because i thought the name of the song was pissed off but it's the name oh, of my playlist got it oh so right I, right they don't have a song named pissed off and okay. so i press enter and i'm like what is all <laughs> of this yikes angry pussy and i'm like okay <laughs> this is clearly not correct oh so i had to that's go back not right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway yeah so now i'm fully aware of what bukkake is i'm yeah. not going to google it i don't want to see don't, it disgusting don't do it or do you have some favorites? Would you like no, to share? No, I don't watch it. It's, I just know what it is. Oh, okay. How do you know? Because it's a known thing in porn. Like it's, it's a, not it's, a known it's, thing it's to like me. A, well, it's Why like is a, it called Bukaki? What is I, even I actually, that? I don't know. Oh, okay. I fine. actually don't know what it means or whatever. But here's, actually, I was gonna. now I'm going to have to put it in the title of this episode. Don't. But I should probably look what it actually means first in yeah, case it's you cussing. You know what? I no? wouldn't. Okay, let's pass. I, I probably so, would pass. So I, do, I don't know, but it, you know, like if... The, like the the list of types of porn or something like that when it's you're up grab, there it, as yeah a subject. yeah okay. and I didn't know what it was either until I saw and then I was like <sighs> oh that's no, not good <laughs> anyway I think you noticed it yesterday morning I have been particularly spicy hmm. the last two days I haven't noticed at all he really? said sarcastically I mean have you been steering clear or watching your words uh, Has, is it that bad no or? no no I I don't think it's that bad I I just it's you're a little quick a little quick. What was funny is I, I did notice it yesterday morning when we were watching something as benign as Ina Garden. Oh, we yeah. were literally just watch, literally watching the most boring show at, of all time. Mm -hmm. Ina's with a guest with, yeah. with Nathan, uh, Lane. Nathan Lane. It's like the lamest Sunday morning cooking about show, as basically white and benign as you could possibly get show. Yep. It was yep. like background yep. music and we're still in bed at and this we're point. just chilling, drinking yep. coffee and on our phones, just doing yep. whatever. And I noticed that um, I had no th nothing kind to say nothing. about Miss Ina Garden. In fact, nothing. At one point, you turned around and I was watching you. I know, not the show, because it was like road rage. It was nonstop. <laughs> I was waiting for you to take a breath, and you changed what you were complaining or I wasn't or complaining. Or I was criticizing. Whatever you, whatever you were judging, uh, there was like twenty things in a period of like. 90 seconds why was i doing that? i don't know but you even called it Wait, out you're like am i thing? what am i doing no it was there was no one thing oh, it was God. all the things there was a good thing though i said a couple of good zingers I'm oh there were good, good zingers i'm not i was entertained obviously at I some was point i think i said fuck you ina i'm pretty sure <laughs> at some point i did do that but anyway and yet we watch her so that kind of carries on into um what we did yesterday which is we have a very old husky he's 13 our our lovely bodega mm -hmm. and he you know needs medication for his little hips and stuff because he's old and he's big really big for yeah. a, even for a husky so we could only get this appointment and we had to go on the weekend and <laughs> pulling in there was like two cars there and i already knew that we were not going to get the best available because it's the weekend and there was hardly anybody there. And I'm yeah, like, but the thinking there is that, you know, he's going for blood work is what we thought anyway. And that's just a it. blood panel, that's just it. to make sure. And that, it was a follow up from the yeah, medicine. Nothing been, big, yeah. you know, just a quickie, yeah. grab his medication, get the blood work to ensure that he's safe to continue taking it and move on with our lives. Yeah. So that combined with the fact that I have zero tolerance for ineptitude, pull in and this girl comes out. 
and I'm not gonna com- I'm not gonna comment on her appearance because it doesn't matter. No, like you just did. She's a frontline worker. <laughs> you know, she's a frontline worker. I know that it's been harrowing for two years for anybody in the healthcare industry, including the animal care industry. Well, first of all, but she was pale and she looked like she just woke up. But let's, that's okay. Let's, let's, okay, I was just gonna say, let's do the math because it was. I want to be clear, it was not what she was wearing because they were all wearing the no, same I'm not thing. Talking they all had clothes. uniforms on. I'm talking okay. about her face. Okay, comes out. <laughs> I just want to punch your face. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's what's coming out of your mouth. <laughs> and she, you know, was nice enough, but I got a vibe immediately, immediately. And I'm like, okay, totally don't want to deal with you. So you got out of the car because you're just like, I'll deal with it. And I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. you should deal with it. I'm just going to hang out in here. And then she was obviously, somebody was shadowing her. A new person was shadowing her. It was a, it was a young dude. <laughs> so he's shadowing. Now he and I had a relationship because he was really aware of the situation. Yeah. I loved him. And at one point I would <laughs> he have said nothing. That's I would why have, you loved him. No, but we were we were making we had a full conversation with our eyes. Okay. He knew. He's like, Yeah, you know, he's trying to stay positive. He's new. He's not gonna, you know, he's can't intercede or anything. He's literally just chilling. Now let's start with the fact that she thought that Bodega was a girl. Yeah. Which pissed me off to no end. Yep. Because this is the second time I've had to correct her. Because I've talked to her on the phone before. Right. Because she's looking at our other dog's file or something like that. Because Unbelievable. Uh, which it, it's stupid. Like and everybody's I got her. everybody's got multiple pets. And then she's like chasing him around, trying to get him to pee in a cup outside. I'm like, uh, what what are we doing? What's happening? And she did it again when they came back. And what was you. funny is you were like, you know, we're really just here to get the meds and do a quick blood work on him. We're yeah. not here for like a full, you yeah. know, whatever assessment of anything. And she's asking questions as if. She's never seen this dog in her, in his in her life that we've never been to this vet before. He's yeah. been a patient for 10 at least a decade. Years. Yeah. And so I had had it. So they come <laughs> over and she starts criticizing the fact that he has fleas and I'm like Fle- he has fleas? Flea dirt, she called it. I'm like that's impossible. And I that said, "Well, I get capstar." And she goes, is- "You know, capstar is really fr-. and she started getting luxury. Yeah. yeah, she was starting to lecture me, and I'm yeah. looking at her. So finally, I and the, the the poor man that I was having an eye contact discussion with, finally, I said, you know what, I'll go ahead and just take that. Evan. The medicine and the, yeah. Evan, I'll go ahead and take that. And then she's like, she li- she lilled for a minute. She's like, anyway, da-da-da. anyway, da 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 I'm like, talk, 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 bitch, but I'm done listening to you. Yeah. And you were all, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you get nervous because you're like, I know what you're capable of, and I really don't want to do this in the parking lot on a Saturday. I'm not saying you're being unreasonable. I and wasn't. That, and honestly, that's the only, but, but you, cause you've never been a Karen. No, I try. Because I would never. To me, cause to me, a Karen is unreasonable, entitled, whatever, versus right. being just angry and not standing for bad treatment, which that was like, yeah. Karens are, are like just ma- walk in, in mad and in general, no, literally can, no one can yeah. do anything and they right, can go right. off. Right. But, right. um, and nervous is not the word. I just, I just know like this is, you know, <laughs> at, at some point we just need to stop and go away. You know enough now to know that, you know, you, you're super, super nice in general. You're super, super nice. And so you entertain this Until person. Until there's a time not to be nice. You, you entertained her for a minute, but she had an agenda and she was not going to let it go. She yeah, was she's, like a fucking dog with a well, bone. Well, she's not skilled. And here's the thing too. Okay, so I was going to giving them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt because I thought weekend, it's literally probably three people. Yeah. Right, that's what I thought. She goes, okay, well, let me, because then they go in and they get the machine and they come out so you can be charged for the visit, mm. which was taking longer Forever. than the fucking appointment. Did. I figured she didn't know and how so to do anything. And so that's what I thought. And so I went inside to just poke my head in and go, am I still waiting to yeah. check out here? There's like four people behind, behind the desk. Chilling. Six texts. No, they're not chilling. Oh, they're working. It's just, they're working. Yeah. It's just like, oh, so guess what? Now now that excuse that I had built in my head for you of being <laughs> the only people here and being a little like, just get this shit done yeah. and blah, blah, blah. No. Oh, my no. wife was right. You're just inept. Yep. Okay. That's great. exactly right. So, so anyway. Yeah. Happy that we get got out of there. So what do we do? We go out of our way. We order all this flea treatment shit. We, you yeah. know, we, we buy this special nozzle so that we can, you know, bathe our arthritic dog in it with warm water. Yeah. We do all of it. That dog had no fleas, yeah. none. And I'm like, I feel like a moron for thinking that this 
pale faced, messy haired bitch had any clue what was going on with my dog that she thought was a girl. What was I thinking? She deserved uh, pretty much, I would say in that particular case, she deserved everything she got from She you. got 25% of me. I know that. Yeah. I, I'm not, she deserved a little uh, bit you, more, you, but that's nah, okay. I, yeah, may, maybe. maybe. She did. Oh, and if you don't think a firmly and, worded and I actually, email isn't coming, to their, <laughs> coming their way on Monday, you are seriously mistaken. I was yeah. mad. Uh, we're not going to go above and beyond and put this dog through a bunch of shit. Yeah, it, no, that's exactly right. For the sake right. of what? That's exactly right. He's healthy, as healthy as he can possibly be. Yeah. He's on medication that keeps him pain-free and he allows him to walk. What are we doing? Stop yeah. it. You yeah. know, it's like now our vet, our doctor, very aware. Yeah. And she's like, I'm not putting him through this. Yes. It's insane. Yeah. We're not putting him through it for no reason. And this woman is acting like this is a two-year-old. Yeah. It's infuriating. So when this happens, people, you have to be so fucking aware and you have to be so such an advocate for yourself, mm -hmm. even for your damn animals now, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not that you wouldn't be anyway, but still, you you can't trust just because they work at a place where you're supposed to be able to. I don't know. It, it really rubbed me the wrong way. And I was really mad because this is literally the opposite experience we've ever happened have happened to have had at this vet. Yeah, it's usually great. Top that with the fact that I have zero tolerance for humanity right now for some damn reason. <laughs> I'm sure it's hormones and I don't give a shit. I don't care. I, I'm just saying the, we the, have she, for a she, had, she, she got what she had coming. And here's the other thing this morning, you and I, <laughs> okay, we're watching another stupid cooking show. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Well, this has, okay, wait, this I'm is changing. good. Yeah. No, it's Make funny. it clear you're changing the subject because this is really funny what it you're about to say. This is this is, has nothing to do with us being annoyed or anything like this. I don't like know this. what it was, but this we is were, like a a <laughs> we were watching. a true laugh out loud moment for both of well, us. Well, here's what was funny about the whole thing, and I am changing the subject because I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> we're watching this show, and the girl is she's Asian and Jewish, and so she makes and all she these, lives in North Dakota. She makes all Minnesota, and she well, makes the all these really cute. Euro Asian Jewish dishes, Hot, yeah, fusion stuff. It's great. Yeah, she's I love her, and so we're watching it, and she's she makes her own pot stickers. I'm like, and I was telling you, I'm like, oh I man, I go dumplings. Yeah, I want to make my own pot stickers. It's easy. And yeah. then she goes, so you know, use oil and place them very gently. She turns to the camera and goes, they don't call it pot stickers for nothing. <laughs> and Daryl goes, <laughs> what? That's what I. Can't. What? It was like, you know that whole... Have you ever tried to cook pot stickers at home from of like frozen or whatever? They are, they stick horribly. Horribly. It doesn't matter if they're teeny and, or they're and huge. And we have made them, not like made them like no, she made them, but like frozen, You put like them in frozen, the pan right? with water and right. you steam them and you right. fry them at the same time. It's oh. a very finite art. And yes, I have ruined many pot stickers oh, trying to cook God. them. And you were laughing. First of all, you made it, you were laughing... I've never heard you laugh like this before. <laughs> I lost which it. Which was strange because you were like, your body was completely still and your mouth was open like a puppet. And you're all, eh, eh, <laughs> like, like a, eh, eh, Listen, eh, don't eh, make eh. this about me. This I'm is not, not. I wasn't laughing like a monkey. Hold on. Knock it off. Hold on. Don't hold. There's a put reason. Your heart, put your hand down. There's a reason. Put your hand down. There's a reason I'm telling you And this. now you're pointing. Stop it. There's you're a making reason. me pop my peas. I'm telling you this, <laughs> and you're doing it. Okay. And you weren't stopping. And I was like, and finally, I turned and I looked at you because I have never seen you laugh like that for so long and so hard. Because, it was insane. And then I started laughing, maybe. and I am crying laughing at you because of how you're responding to this epiphany <laughs> that <laughs> pot stickers are called pot stickers because they stick to the pot. I mean, Don't act like you knew. I didn't. You didn't know. I did not know. But you were it is the out most, of your mind. It is, well, first of it all. the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. It, I well, was dying. Here's why. I was dying. Here's why. <laughs> Because so good. I think this is why. Oh my because god! Because I will tell you, not that I, not that I don't have a sense of humor, or don't look at myself this way, but that was, <laughs> I was truly laughing at myself. Oh my god! Hilariously, because <laughs> there has never been a more dramatic, oh, Christ, hilarious. <laughs> I was today years old moment in Ever. my entire life. Ever than that moment because it was so. <laughs> 
They're literally called pot stickers, and not stick. one time in Never. my fifty plus years of life Never. have I thought that that's why they fucking call them that. I lost it. <laughs> I absolutely was like, was so and she said it ever. so matter of factly. Yeah, she turned and I'm the like, camera all casual. She was like, "Don't call them pot stickers for and nothing." I and went, you're like, "What, Jesus <laughs> Christ? What is wrong with ever. me?" for not knowing that oh God. and so i was really like that, I, said, I guess yeah. it was really like a genuine belly type no, at it myself wasn't, it not was a belly not laugh a belly but like laugh. a genuine laugh at myself like you were so I, shocked oh my god you were so <laughs> shocked was, and i'm like i've never the, seen you like this in my life this thing ever it was so funny and, and please, i am like I, crying I, laughing i have to know though like <laughs> and be honest, if you guys hear this and you just drop it in social media or something or de- whatever. Of course we knew it was pot sticker. Please tell me that I'm I not the know. only one or we are not we, the only one. because I didn't know either. <laughs> that just oh realized God. that that's why they call them that. And immediately it flashed in my head of the 9,000 oh, times we've we made these things. and, and well, uh, But I, they're supposed to have a little crust to them. They is, are. That in the, when they're pan yes. fried like that. But yes. like, it was fuck. That's crazy. Crazy. It's crazy. That, it, and, and I you even know turned what? to you and I said, we're almost dead and we're just learning is, about this. <laughs> this is the, we're, we, we're, said, we're, we're more than halfway to death. through life. We're halfway to death and that we, was we the, did not know. That was the most, an epiphany is not even the right word. No. Our, an epiphany <laughs> like is somebody, something you like realize someone, to yourself. Someone lifted a veil and went, it by was, the way, did you know? I mean. No, I did not know. And it's so stupid because it's so fucking obvious. I and know. We, and like five minutes later, I looked at you and I'm like, it's in the name. It's like I literally still right there me. in the name. Oh my God. It's on every label. Oh God. It, it was, was so funny. So funny. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> and we're, and we, we have pretty, I mean, we're not like a, <laughs> like sitcom people who, you know, no. sometimes we'll, we'll watch a sitcom and no. like there'll be a scene where we're like how the fuck did they get through that i mean right, saturday night right. live they do it live so i mean i get it but like mm-hmm. but like i was i don't know how I, I could do some scenes like we've seen scenes in the big bang theory we we're just talking about one the other night where they're where the two guys are feeling each other up because they think their, their boobs. boobs are getting bigger yes. and i'm like how the fuck did they look at each other straight and face and do this and not like, cry like, laughing yeah it would take a thousand takes for me to get oh, that yeah. right so we're not like that but we kind of chuckle at ourselves and we're laughing, but we can oh, yeah. we can keep it pretty it together. I lost it. It was crazy. I, I you know what? <laughs> it was the most. It's one of those stupid revelations. One in of the history. little. <laughs> it's one of the little gifts in life when you finally something surprises you. Like nothing surprises now me. Now I want to know. Like, are there other things out there like that? Maybe. But that one was like just literally nothing surprises adults. Yeah. You, if you've lived enough life, right. especially if you're Gen X, right. you've seen some shit. All of it. You know, you have you have thrown up in strangers' yards. Yeah. You have been to places you shouldn't be and survived by the skin of your teeth. Right. You have slept with, <laughs> touched, oh smelled, God. seen everything, <sighs> and then to have something as innocent and pure <laughs> as something like pot sticker oh. throw you for a loop. God. It's shocking and funny as hell. By the way, it was oh, so man. funny. Anyway, with that being said, <laughs> it, it will never not make me laugh. I can oh, tell forever. you right now, every time we have or oh. make pot stickers, we will think of this now. Yeah. Well, and you know, I want to make them. Oh my God. Now we got to make them from scratch. Anyway, speaking of food, um, you and I had a really great meal um, a couple weeks ago. Our daughter is doing an externship at a really, really nice restaurant in Napa. While she's going to school, she spent a semester externing at this great restaurant. Press is the name. They knew we were coming. Yeah. So they, we had our. Yeah, because we had to get, because they were full. So Kenzie had to pull some strings. Our daughter was able to pull some strings. Leftover tables. We got a table. It was a great table. Great table. Table 70. And so (laughs) they sat us down. A stream of people. I, I told Kenzie, I'm like, I can't even tell you the, I lost count of the amount of people that approached our table to tell us how great she was she is and how talented she is and how yep. wonderful blah 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 and i'm like well i don't know if they're just laying it on thick they don't really have to they really didn't i mean that's it's a rest I mean, it's a well, professional her, play i mean that's not necessary yeah her, but they her, did it. her uh, paid internship or externship whatever they call it um was ending and we had not yes, been and we right. always go to napa but because we had been doing so many other things we're mm-hmm. like you know what She's going to be done in a couple of weeks. Let's let's go at least once, even right. though she's working. We may not to get to see her because she's sure. always cooking. But uh, so yeah, but, but so anyway. so we're sitting there. We had some great wine. Everything was delicious. Flawless meal. Flawless it, service. It really 
so some of the dishes, I mean, I thought all all but maybe one was good, and it and actually was good. It just wasn't our taste. But <laughs> like, of all the things that we had, like this there was, was nothing this wrong. is a this is a top five restaurant yeah. in Napa where there's a lot of good I just, restaurants. I mean, honestly, I know they're working towards their Michelin. They should they, they should have they it. should absolutely. I've have eaten one. at places that have one that weren't as good as that. I would place. agree with you on yeah. that. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, with that being said, you and I. You know, we can have a conversation anywhere about anything forever. Sure. Like you and I talk quite a bit yep. and <clears throat> never get bored with each other. It's so funny because my one of my biggest anxieties has always been the older, the longer we're together. Yep. When we go out to dinner, we're not going to have anything to talk about. And we're going to be that old couple. And they're like, oh, look at that old couple. They've run out of things to say. They're just yeah. together now and eating. Like, I don't want that. <laughs> right. Ever. And so I, I don't think that's going to happen. But you never know. Currently, we're good. Yeah. We, we, we. Still have it. Oh, we yeah. Still got no, it. Oh, yeah, we can. Anyway, so we're sitting there and, you know, I talk about death quite a bit. Um, and so I don't even know how this, I have no idea how this came up. I have no idea how it came up, but you and I were talking and I said, oh, well, if you died. Okay. And, and that's how many of our conversations begin. <laughs> well, if you died, <laughs> that should be the name of my book. Uh. And I, for some reason, didn't have means to survive. I would just sell my toenails. <laughs> and you're like, stop, what? Like, you were you were speechless because you're well, like, what? that's not what you said. I didn't? No. I did say that I would, though. Yes, but that's not how you opened it. Did I say OnlyFans? That's exactly what you said. Right. Well, I've done you some said, research. You said, <laughs> if I... The easiest way to, or the way I could make money quickly yes. is to start an OnlyFans. Start an and only I fans. was mortified. You're like, what? And I said, yeah, but I wouldn't do anything like it, boob or butt or anything. I yeah. would, no one would see my face. I would just do like leg hands and that's it. And the reason I mentioned I think, it, yeah. hold on. Okay. So the reason I mentioned it is I saw that there's a woman who literally doesn't throw anything away. And this is a new story that we actually talked about a couple, like a year or so ago, not you and I, but me and my sisters, about this woman who literally doesn't throw anything away and sells it. And she makes like $10,000 a month selling disgusting things. So Just like underwear, socks and shit? That, and like, that's mild. Oh, okay. She sells toenails, flo- used dental floss, tampons like everything literally everything vials of spit and people buy it that's what's so disgusting so anyway i remember this girl and i remember like right now i'm getting like my mouth is watering in a bad way it's really tough but sometimes i tell you things because i want to shock you and see what you'll how you'll react and so when we're at this really really fancy restaurant yeah I said, oh, well, I would just do an OnlyFans and do like foot fetish stuff. And you're like, why would you do that? You're better than that. Sell your voice. <laughs> well, you don't need to sell so, your body. So, so I'm going to I'm going to call bullshit <laughs> because you didn't say that to shock me. Either that or your acting skills have improved significantly <laughs> because you underestimate felt, me so much. It felt, no, I do not. It felt pretty like legit. It didn't feel like because you didn't even snicker at all well no and you would normally like you normally no so here's the here's the thing when i said that first of all because i'm confident that we'll never get to the i will never get to the point where i have to sell my leg hands online i can't imagine (laughs) i can't imagine it are you are you listening to this listeners do we need to make this subscription based if i die so that you guys can send money i'm just because we cannot have you doing it's not gonna happen but my point is, Cannot. is that I was, I was having, we were having this discussion and you were getting, the more I was talking about, it, the more upset and ish you were getting, like you were getting very resolute, like this is not something that you can do. And yeah. you weren't giving, he, and you even said, I'm not telling you, I'm not, not giving you permission. I am just saying, this isn't something you should even consider. There are other things. You have so much value. Like you were really pontificating. I was literally recommending businesses for you to start <laughs> you were <laughs> and i said women sell their toenails to men i go men are disgusting they're disgusting I you s- know how disgusting men here's are the thi- here's the thing though. you do know okay but listen yes i can't do this but if somebody else out there has no qualms and no worries about their browser history <laughs> 
please give me the number of motherfucking bitches on OnlyFans selling oh. your toenails. Hold on. Hold okay. on. <laughs> and the number of people that buy them. Because if it's more than 10, I'm moving to Mars the minute it can fucking happen. Okay. Because this is... I think it's I think it's exaggerated for the uh, significance of just the idea that that's a sensational thing, and if literally one person does it, <laughs> mm-hmm. it goes viral. So right. let me guess, you did the research. I did some research. Jesus Christ, do not let our children use your computer. Our children are adults, it and they've seen matter. far worse. No, they haven't. So this is bad. OnlyFans is not where you would sell these things. Well, okay, but whatever. There's that's, another but website. You said, you said. Well, I didn't know yeah. because by the t- when we were talking about it, I had no idea. Yeah. So I, but I did look, and the name of it is called AllThingsWarn.com, and I went to it, and this is a site where you can literally sell literally anything. All right. It's not porn. It's items. Understood. Sex workers use it. To my sell. panties from last week. Right, Got whatever. It. OnlyFans, I don't think, I, frankly, I have no interest in OnlyFans because I'm not a. Yeah, but. but, but that's okay, not but they where don't you sell would, it there, but no. they could promote it there. I suppose. Of course I, they could. In fact, could. somebody even said. They would go on their OnlyFans and, by the channel. way, go to my channel and link can, it and you, buy you, my shit. If you want to buy these panties, you can get them on oh my God. OnlyWarn.com. So I didn't want to, but I did, I did in the search on. Something, whatever, warn.com. I did a search. I did toenail. toenail. I did toenail clippings. And? Hundreds. Of and different people? Yes. Selling them. Hundreds. And they go anywhere between 10 and and $100 per bag, uh, baggie, or they, some of them put them in a cute little baggie, some of them put them in a vial. Is that, is that a, is that some kind of medical condition? Like a fetish? Like a, a you fetish. Know, I know it's a fetish, yeah. but I mean, is it like a, like in your, something's wrong with your brain? No. <laughs> No, no. Like there's no, okay. It's just a fetish. For what? Like for what? Why are you asking me? I'm not the person. Because you fucking did the research and you blew up your phone and computer browser because. I just looked, I just did a search and there's some women. Don't do any of that shit on my computer. Some women grow them out really long and then they sell them. Some people paint them and then cut them. Yeah. So. Hundreds. Pedicure, pedicure porn? Is that kind of what yeah. that is? I don't even want to tell you this because it makes my mouth water in a bad way, but some women sell their pedicure water. Some women sell their egg shavings. Egg shavings? I know you don't know what that is. Oh, the, there's, is there's that, a petty is that egg a, that oh, you can yeah, use yeah, yeah, on yeah, your, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, an yeah, auto, yeah, yeah, and they yeah. sell like the, for Like for <laughs> your dry skin or whatever? Yeah. I can't. I can't. <laughs> it's disgusting. I, I, I couldn't just, do it. Frankly, couldn't do it. How I could you tell? Not, how, I, wait, I couldn't do it. How? I couldn't do it. Some woman wait. used her shavings and made like bread. Yeah. <laughs> I am not kidding. I'm going to throw everything I in this room right now. I am not kidding. Okay, wait, 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 wait. One more step. Okay. How do you know people are actually buying this stuff? Like, does I, it say it's sold no, or it's, does it just say it's a price? It's Well, the one, the one that I, when I Googled it, and I went to it. They yeah. were all sold. There were three. And she, they were sold. And hey, free shipping. So if you bought two, you got free shipping. But those were all sold. But there were hundreds of posts. And no, I think it, because it is anonymous, like it's um, confidential, you're not going to see whether or not they're sold. I mean, and these were all new listings. So I just I just wonder if they just like. <sighs> there are so man, many. That's... And you know what? I'm really glad that you're the one that I'm talking to about this because Stephanie would be retching. She would not. <laughs> feel, she'd be like, stop talking. Yeah. We're not moving on. <laughs> moving on. But yeah, there. my whole point in all of this is we're having this discussion in a restaurant. Yeah. I know. And there's these well, two. Yeah, it wasn't. You hadn't done the research no, no, yet. No, 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 but no. Yeah. But we were talking about selling yeah. Things like this. And there were two girls, women, young ladies, sitting in the table next to us. They weren't young. Well, whatever. They were women. Lovely women. Having a lovely meal together. And, um, you know, all carting their way through the menu. They were having a great time. And they heard. Oh, no. A snippet of me saying something about Oli fans. Uh. And one of them goes. She she kind of sat up a little bit. <laughs> she kind of sat up a little bit and looked at her friend, and and uh, and they got quiet because they, they wanted to listen. They got quiet because <laughs> her friend goes, 
Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know they're doing the thing that you and I would be doing, right? Right. And I heard it a little bit. I'm like, you know what? Let them listen. We're, I'm not admitting to how no, I don't even no. have one. You know, nothing no, like that. But yes. but the whole what if of the situation oh my god. was to me very funny because I know in my heart of hearts I would never, yeah. I would never. But I mean, <laughs> there's just no I'm way. I'm just like but, I, my mind can't. I mean, I know people are disgusting. It's I'm not just, just saying, people, honey. It's men. Or whatever. I know they're disgusting. And yes. by the way, I heard everything you said to our daughter today <laughs> talking shit about me. I didn't talk shit about you. What oh, are yeah, you talking you did. about? So I would th- never there was talk a, shit about there was a, <laughs> there was a part um, where... Uh, so aggressive. <laughs> I'm aggressive. Yes, God. You were like, I am not. I am not lying to our grandchildren. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. <laughs> Santa letters. <laughs> I'm not. Anyway. Um, Go ahead so, and send it, but no, do not write my name on that. I know. I was very, I heard that you didn't <laughs> want to do that. The cheese stands alone. I heard you. And the cheese does stand alone. Whatever. Anyway, so um, I'm just glad it wasn't employees. Oh, no. That hurt. Oh, I, yeah. thought, I thought that's where you were well, going. The two, anyway, like, I thought, so uh, they perked up and they were listening a little bit and they had little smirks on their face. And I'm like, well, you enjoy the show, ladies. <laughs> It was fine. They were yeah, cool. We've watched shows like that before in a restaurant, too. And, so so. <laughs> today, I'm telling Mackenzie, our daughter, as she's driving to work, about this discussion that you and I had about yes. me selling toenail clippings. And she's just, and I go, and you know, I say things for shock factor for dad because I like to see him get all worked up because yeah. he knows that I'm, he knows in the heart, he knows in his gut that I wouldn't dare. I'm way too bougie and way too princessy there's just no way in hell that i would ever do it plus you're in denial of even having feet exactly so why would (laughs) i ever yeah i that's (laughs) offensive i believe that out sir so (laughs) i was telling her this and i said dad thinks that there aren't men out there who would who would buy them i'm like men are just so disgusting and she go and she paused i'm all hello yeah i'm here what's up Mom, I have to side with dad on this. I just don't think there are men that buy toenails. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I go, yes. And I go, Mackenzie, you sweet summer child. <laughs> men are disgusting. Not a summer and child. I wish I could, I wish that there was a way for me to really push this on you about that. There are people out there who are so sick mm. that they would absolutely See, that's buy that, it. Like it's, it's not I'm just not disgusting. It's millions it's of people. It's mentally ill. I don't think that there. I don't think that there are millions of men out there looking for a variety, (laughs) but maybe (laughs) I don't even want, and I don't want to know. Well, but what I do know is that there is a lot available, yeah, and you can find anything you want because everything's for sale. I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. I will. (laughs) Not only, you know what? Is that a divorceable offense? It's beyond divorce. Oh my God! You it's might beyond kill me. divorce. You might I will annul injury. our marriage. Oh my! Annul. And I will take that f- truck from you. <laughs> I will take everything from you. Everything. You will be a hobo in the street, and they'll be, and they'll be like, "What happened no, to you?" No, I won't. You know why I won't? Because I will start at OnlyFans. <laughs> you won't be successful. I can shave my feet. I have dainty feet. You have ballerina feet. <laughs> Now you got me saying the bad words. Oh, God. That's quite enough. No longer oh, fun for man. me. <laughs> I'm not having fun anymore. We're changing this conversation now. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. But anyway, it was a great dinner. It and I'm so does. glad that we were a little show for, for oh, others. It was fun. funny. I know. It was just, here's the thing. I think that the reason that you didn't think I was acting, and I mean, obviously, I just say things to push your buttons sometimes I know. just to see. But, um, is that I am not a I am not opposed to women and that's capitalizing the part, that's on the part, anything. Yeah, like that, I'm not opposed to it. It's like, look, just because I wouldn't do it doesn't mean that I don't think you should do it if you think you can do it. I mean, for God's sake, do it. You know, I don't it's not that I don't care. It's like I just I'm not opposed to women taking advantage of pathetic creatures who are willing to pay and be disgusting. Yeah, and that's the part that throws throws I get me it. that 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 is even like but but I mean, you know, ask I'm an not, exotic I'm, dancer, ask not, a nude dancer how she feels about the basic, the, the general clientele, which is male. They don't respect them the way that they would somebody else. They're like, yeah. if you're, if you're going to come in and do this, I'm going to take advantage of it. 
it's it's not an even relationship. Yeah. Men men are paying for something that they don't need to pay for, but they will, they're willing, and there are women who'd be like, fine by me. It's not a dynamic that I'm interested in doing, but I'm also not opposed to it. It's not I don't have a problem with it in the sense that if you want to do it, then I think you should be able to do it. If you're successful at it, more power to you. It doesn't mean that I would do it, but I don't hate that it's available. Well, I mean, just generally speaking, I'm not I'm not down with telling people how to live their lives in general. Yeah, right? me neither. Like, I don't care. Me neither. Um, I mean, just don't harm others of or course. me. But, but I do feel like that is, it's not uncomfortable. It's it's incomprehensible. Like I, my mind can't. can't I can't. Wrap I can't wrap it. my brain. Yeah. Around that, either side of this coin happens. I know. Right. That's the part that that bothers me. Is I that? Know. And by the way, I just I do want to be clear in my opinion. I don't think these guys are disgusting. I literally think they're mentally. There's something Ill. wrong with them. Yeah. I don't. There's no. There. I don't think there's any normal in the head person buying somebody's toenail. <laughs> I don't care what your fetish is. Sex I just don't fetish. see it happen. I don't see it. Well, like, like, I mean, clearly there was something the, along what, the line. Nothing sexual about that. Well, I don't, I don't really know. Not and every I, fetish is sexual. I, like, like it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's a collecting, hoarding, weird. It's, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't but, know. But my point is, is that there's really not my cup of tea. Right. Like, there's like, I, there's a there's a commercial right now. It's it's uh, where they kind of went a little too far. I think. It, I know it's weird because I'm not trying to be judgy about it, but it's a State Farm commercial, right? Yeah. And and one of the themes of those State Farm commercials is that I should be getting special treatment because I am so and so, right? Okay. Like the celebrities, like oh. and and he and mm. Jake from State Farm keeps saying, "No, Everybody's everybody gets special. this, right, right." Yeah. And so they're at a dinner, and this woman stands up and and takes out of her pocket, and she goes, "I collect shrimp tails." I saw that, and I'm like. You're a crazy fuck. I know that's, it's a commercial. That's crazy. But like, but like that's, that's un- and he goes, no, that's too personal. And I'm like, personal. She needs to be in an institution getting <laughs> evaluated. That's do not, you think that maybe they meant to do toenails and they had to go, we can't maybe, do toenails, you guys. Maybe, oh, because it's too personal. Shrimp tails. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shrimp tails rhymes with toenails, you know. I Maybe, maybe. <laughs> that. You know what? I bet you. Somebody if, that's do why we some, know anyone that does their <laughs> advertising, creative. anybody who does their creative. I'm sure that, I just thought was like, they're like, like, we can't do shrimp tail. We can't do toenails. You guys, we, that's, that's let's biological. Do that, let's do something. It's that too much. Bi- it's, it's a biohazard. We need to do something else. <laughs> that anyway, you're right. Though. I just think, I just that think it's fetishy. mental. I just, Hardcore. Like, like, yeah. like, who, like who does like that's you're, you're literally making fun yeah. of somebody who has a problem. And yes. I know they're not, you know, I'm taking it too it's, seriously. No, 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 but, no. but I mean, you're, it is, it is amazing but, that, but well, it stuck out to me. Like we that talked about that. Crazy. <laughs> We've talked she about that before. Special, she needs special help. We talked not about special that insurance rates. We're like, was there even a woman at that creative meeting? Was there, was there even one, <laughs> oh, that was that other one. woman yeah. sitting in there going, yeah. are we really going to make a woman bring out seven shrimp, shrimp tails out of her, <laughs> her khakis? <laughs> really? Oh, but yes, I, but I do, I totally get what you're saying, (laughs) but I mean, but still, and then, and then on the other side are there, so, so, and again, I'm taking this too far in a, in an over analytical way because people are just fucking weird. Right. But so take mentally disturbed, quote unquote, disgusting dude on one side. Mm -hmm. And on the other side is someone taking advantage of that mentally disturbed person. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Well, I mean, I mean, if we're really drilling down, you, but you're I, the I'm one not that an thinks they're mentally ill. Oh, that, no, no, <laughs> no, I'm not. Everyone does. I don't think that's There's, very fair to say that if somebody has a fetish about it, something. No, no, I didn't say a fetish about something. I am specifically talking about buying people's toenails. Okay. Like, even if you do underwear or something like w- that, I feel like there's some sexual... Some? S- you're, that's a sexual thing? The thing is... Tone- no. What I'm hearing is that you just simply cannot fathom that no, anyone would find anything remotely sexual about these things. About toenails, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair point. All right. I mean, I wouldn't. I, mean, I just... You I, know I mean, it would be like... A- lir- there's a family guy... There's a family guy episode where there's a guy who collects fingernails and builds a house. Ha- I, I, I I can't get through the episode. It makes me want to throw up so bad. Or whenever they spit on Meg to make her do something, like when she when they spit on her to lube her up to get her through the HVAC system. Yeah. 
I can't watch it. it. I have to close my eyes because the idea of saliva on another human's face makes me want to throw up. But there are people. But see, those things like that, that's the thing that makes me wonder, though, because it, things like that are supposed to make a you big sick. deal out of the most random, yeah. isolated I know. stories. And you telling me that there's literally hundreds of listings for these is things is like nuts. Every color of the rainbow. Every length, Ugh. every shade. I, I just, but the, but the thing is though, is that I feel like I'm, <laughs> I just feel like I'm opening up your mind to a new part of the world. Like, you no, can't it's even not. Believe. No, no, no. Pot stickers is opening up my mind to a new part of the world. <laughs> this, this is more just like me having a different perspective There's on a the new fact. Dark I, I don't, you I don't, aware of. I don't know. I, I don't want to say that I wasn't aware of it, but, but now that you're going to force me to it. think about it, yeah. I'm going to be like, Somebody is crazy, and yeah. the other person is taking advantage of that crazy person. Well, you're welcome. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Thanks. Anyway, do you have an ugly and awkward moment? Yeah. You I, do? Yeah. I do. All right, so I was watching this show, and um, the lady was cooking. <laughs> <laughs> and she looked at, dead at the camera through my soul. And said, they don't call them pot stickers for nothing. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to hit the crickets. I tried, but I, I can't. I didn't look. I just Anyway, so, no, I don't really have one, but that buttons. one that one is my awkward moment. She stared into my soul and that was so explained funny. pot stickers to me. Um, mine happened a couple of days ago. I was making you an apple pie because we finally went to Apple Hill, bought yep. some pies or bought some uh, apples. apples yeah. And I'm like, I have to make at least one apple pie. So I was making you an apple pie. It's gone, by the way. Okay, good. And I was talking to our daughter who was sitting there chatting with us. And I had my very favorite oh. slippers on. <laughs> I had my I had a nice big snuggly hoodie on because it was kind of cold. And I was like, you know, I was, I was, you know, moving and grooving, had my hair in a nice messy bun. I probably looked amazing. <laughs> and um, I go, I go into the pantry to grab the flour to make the crust and I grab the flour and I'm talking and I pull it off the top shelf and because it's in a plastic canister it's in a big canister with a with a suction lid yep yep and I pull it off and some for some reason it it, it had unscrewed or whatever and I dumped literally a half a pound of flour (laughs) over my head (laughs) oh I didn't know you oh I only saw it on the floor I didn't realize oh no I was covered in flour and Malia watched the whole thing she's like oh and I was like and I'm like don't breathe because I'm gonna get in my lungs (laughs) oh no so I'm like carcinogenic flour I don't want to get bakery lung and so I'm like that's a thing right yes okay and it's like freaking coal miner lung and so anyway so I was like I have never done this. I've never done this. <laughs> and what's weird, because you've, um, I've when you were never. a kid, you worked at a pizza place. So I you would have think that happened at least. I mean. No, never. Because you guys made the dough there, right? Yeah, but we had, in, the, the flour was in like 30 pound bags. But oh, okay. Anyway, I was so shocked yeah. that I did it. I'm like, I haven't done anything like this <laughs> in so long i can't believe it i'm like was i just not paying attention did it well you were talking to malia at the time absolutely wasn't paying attention i would have seen it otherwise i and you can hear it like coming off of me and i was i just couldn't believe it i ruined my slippers which (laughs) pissed me off the most yeah that was the biggest thing you bought new slippers because yes immediately oh well Yes, so They're that's not, my awkward moment. Yes, it took, I funny. literally swept again today and got more, more flour <laughs> off the floor. Years from now. Oh, God, it was yeah. so frustrating. So, yeah. Which yeah, that it, was a good one. And which, it was witnessed. Which means I win. Yes. Because I included others. <laughs> yes. That's correct. That's true, I did. And then I went to freaking Target to buy more slippers, and I bought some thinking they'd be really cute, and I hate them. They're yep. crap. They are crap. So now I had to order others, and I have to wait. Me mm. Anyway. Well, that's a good one. Such is my life. That's a good one. Yes. And is, I hope everybody gets, if you're celebrating Halloween, I hope you get lots of treats. Trick or we're, treat. we're handing out full size bars this year. I know Trick none of our neighbors are going to hear this, hopefully. Yeah, full size. I would die if our neighbors are. Oh, I've got to go. I've I got to get our. Cast. I got to go get our sign down. Oh, do we want to talk about our pumpkins? No. Oh. We just carved pumpkins. They're cute. My mom didn't get it. No one got it. No That's one's weird. gotten it. 
Okay, if you if you follow us on social, we'll post the picture of our pumpkins, and you tell us if you get it. You're not gonna get it. Yeah. It's fine though. If you try, I can't, I, you know. Well, when I told my mom, she was like, "Oh God, it's so obvious." But it was like her pot sticker moment. Oh well, maybe you'll have your <laughs> pot sticker moment, everyone. All right. Well, happy happy Halloween. Enjoy all of the scary movies. Eat lots of candy. 